they're pretty simple baskets, but it's the kind of slightly different gifts. I'm going to give you specific measurements to play with these baskets today, but you can play around with the measurements and put them in the size. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is just get together all the material to make these baskets. Um, it's pretty simple and straightforward. You're going to need a piece of paper that measures 12 by 10 inches. You're going to need four strips of paper that measure 12 by 1 feet. I think contrasting papers are the more decorative and the better. Uh, these are all scrapbooking type papers, so uh, not extremely heavy weight type of stuff, but still slightly more substantial than the other pieces of paper. And then also, we need to need a pencil, a ruler, a pair of scissors. Uh, paper clips are not necessary, but super handy. Uh, we'll see you all in a few minutes. We need um, some new clips. I'm just going to get started. Um, first thing that you're going to do is make a few measurements and fold and then make a few cuts so you can glue everything together. It's really, really easy. Um, you can choose whether or not you want to start a medium paper portrait or landscape. So this would be landscape where it's um, the width, so it might use more of the height. Portrait would be the height that goes more than the width. I will work just fine. I'm going to go ahead and do this so the paper is fixed to the landscape. You're going to make four different lines of paper and put them in front of each other. Make sure you draw the lines that you're hiding so that it's easy to face the other. So, from one edge, I'm going to measure seven inches deep. And then I'm going to do that so that I can make a straight line. So I'm going to do that maybe draw a light line down here. Then I'm going to do seven inches from the other side. Then from the top and bottom, I'm going to do the same thing with my six inches. Once I've done that, I already have my measurement to see if it's accurate. You're going to fold your edge six inches. So the lines I do with the eight today, you can do the eight, you probably need to do the eight today. But you'll take your left side and fold it towards that seven inch line. It will crease. So essentially, you're flat and there's a piece of paper to the left. You'll do the same thing with the other side to make sure that it's that crease. And then you'll do the same thing with the extra three inches both to the left and to the right. So when you get done, the folds look great like a cat. I do my lines very quickly. I'm not going to press the right hand. I'm just going to extend it. It's about three or four inches wider than the other side. So it's about three inches wider. Next, take your scissors. I'm going to make two cuts. Depending on if you want a longer thick basket, you can cut either here or here or here or here. I'm going to go ahead and make my cuts at the, this end. So that I'll be doing a fully over on the short end. And so basically what I'm doing is I'm cutting on the fold up until I move this crease in. So I'm going to do that twice on this side. Do your best to make it straight lines so that's not going to pass that fold edge. So it will not be that crease. So go ahead and do that on the other side. It's not going to stick cutting it straight along the crease that I made without going across the horizontal crease. So when you get done, it looks a bit like that. And you can go ahead and see now, you'll see what we do. Just take and fold the pieces up together. You can see how they fold into a box like this. So we're going to be doing some gluing and folding and some pressing. What I like to do is lay the basket flat, grab my tracer. And for this flat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it up so that this flat is behind the middle and this flat is in front. So I do that ahead of time so I can make a mental note as to where the glue is being. So, kind of play around 
to get people first, make sure that where you're going to do it, everything needs to be covered. So the best way for me to do this, have the biggest flap that sticks up a little bit more, that way you can get over everything else so that you don't see the So if I do it like that, You'll see that there's a little bit of over here. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right on that layer. And fold it. I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm going to put three edges, those together, and then I'm going to put a little spot here. Exactly. You know, which way you fold it up, you might have one that is long and skinny, like this one here. 